Hey y'all, how is everybody doing? All right, so remember, I'm gonna um, I'm pull, I'm uh, gonna be pick, uh, laying out some angel numbers, whatever the um, whatever I'm, uh, falls out of the deck, whatever um, they make fall. Um, and when you pick your number, just relax. And what number comes to you, that is your number from the angels. All right, they love you, God's angels. The Bible tells us that. We are, the angels camp about about the Lord's people. All right, we are never alone. We are divinely protected and guided. Oh, praise God! Praise God! Praise God! I hope y'all are doing well. I am doing all right. I am, and um, there's been a lot of breakthrough on my end with my family, and I'm so thankful for that. All right. see if anything else comes out and while we're shuffling on let's do a positive affirmation hey all right so no weapon formed against me shall prosper no weapon formed against let's start over no weapon formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ no weapon formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ no weapon Formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. All right. So, got our cards. All right. So, remember when you go to pick your card, just relax. I'm in a new little area of uh, my room. So, let me see how well this camera does right here. Hope y'all are doing well. Been doing your best to make good, healthy choices. Seek the Lord above all for those healthy choices. It's another feather I found. Yeah. So if you're out and about and you're finding feathers, that is just a sign of uh, God's protection and your divine connection with the heavenly realm. All right. They give us little hints all the time. They're beautiful. And here goes... There's another one I found. Yeah. Oh, oh, and wait, hold on. <laughs> Baby Michael, he's on his way. All right. Okay, let's see. All right, y'all. Can y'all see? Yeah. All right, so we got seven, zero, six, five. 144 and 39. We're going to start with 144. 144 says, Look towards ways of getting work done more efficiently. Listen to your intuition as your angels are ushering positive energies around you and towards you. Keep your thoughts positive and uplifted and optimistic as you undertake an important new roles or venture or adventure. Your positive energies and intentions and actions will manifest your expected results. Trust your angels to deliver all that you need. Angel number 144 encourages you to keep striving ahead. Don't take no, don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous answers and solutions to appear as you need them. Now remember, when you are manifesting, we do not... We do not participate in manifestation of the world, okay? Manifestation of the world is not what we want because it's not heavenly guided, all right? And a way we can also know this is that when you manifest something, uh, when you manifest and it's of the world, God gets no glory, all right? So understand there are biblical principles with manifestation, an example is the Bible uh, tells us when we pray, we are to pray as we already received. All right, and uh, and it tells it wants us not to be double minded about our prayers. All right, so that is biblical principle on manifestation. Jesus Christ is the t true secret, and the ama amazing thing is, is Jesus is not a secret, but 
it, just to remember, when you manifest, you need to make sure that you are manifesting of the Lord. All right, because any other manifestation is of this world. It has the Antichrist spirit attached to it. We don't want it. Uchilando casino uchiline. If God gets no glory, we need no part of it. Period. All right. I love you. Number five. Important life changes are up on you, and these will bring about money and positive opportunities for you. Look at the changes with a positive attitude or as they are destined to bring long-term benefits. All right, so I'm going to stop it right there. When there, we can be in a situation and it might not feel good for us, but it is. That's what they're saying. You know, you could be, you could have some life changes up on you that are all good and they're all positive. Don't lose your sight of Christ, all right? But just understand if you're going through a, a hard time right now, so to speak, Understand that all things work together for the good of those called according to his purpose and that love the Lord. All right? So everything is going to be okay. It's going to work out. So be positive. Do your best to be positive about whatever is going on in your life. And understand there is a great learning in it. All right? And if you are having trouble with remaining positive, it's like um, uh, don't beat yourself up. Do better next time. Ask God, ask the heavenlies to help assist you on how to do better next time, all right? And let it go. Because as long as we hold on to things, we beat ourselves up. It's exactly what the enemy wants. And he don't have no foothold over us no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those chains are broke, all right? Be grateful for opportunities no matter how you feel about them. See, that's what we were just talking about. They are good for you. The angels are helping you to make a good, healthy choice for your body, mind, and spirit. Trust assured the angels support you through these transitions. If feeling fear, release them to the heavenlies. They are on standby. Only you know your heart's desires, and only you can fulfill them in your own unique way. Alright, so if you're feeling any fear, if you're feeling any doubt, if you're feeling any stress, any what some would say depression, anxiety, all of this is bad, alright? And it does not belong to you. Those are energies thinking that they can take hold of your vessel and they cannot in the mighty name of Jesus, alright? So what we have to do is we need to speak them out. If you are feeling depressed, you take it to God. You're like, Lord God, I, I, I'm feeling these emotions of depressed depression. I ask that you take them from me so you can transform them, form them into a greater good. All right? We have to be grounded. We need to understand that these chaos, these, these thoughts, these things that make us run rapid, that make us want to go smoke a blunt or anything like that, they are not of God. That is of the enemy. That is the enemy's work. And we are here to shut it down in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not prevail. The Bible tells us that we have authority over Satan. And he is to get in his place, which is underneath our foot. All right? Amen. Then we got angel number 39. How about that? Oh, and I also got, all right. I got my labyrinth, all right. See that little, look, look at that beautiful stone. Look at it, it's going to bless you. I got my stone, my legs started tingling. My, uh, uh, my, my throat also started. God, God has created beautiful creations in this world, all right, this stuff made me uh, get it, 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 it's a powerful, it's a return to cinder rock, too. Yeah, it sure is. Right through that computer screen. You don't mess with God's children. Don't you ever mess with God's children in the mighty name of Jesus. You can mess, you can play with anybody you want, but you're doing, when you start messing with God's children, judgment has fallen up on you, all right? But everybody. Everybody can turn from their ways and be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. God's creations are beautiful. They are not to be misused. In Christ alone does the power stand. But his creations are beautiful. Alright? They are to be used as they were, as the beautiful things that they were, that God created them for. Period. Christ lose no power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But yeah, you like the beautiful old rock? It'll get you too, man. 
It will in a good way or a bad way. Make up your mind. All right, so we're just going to sit there right here while we do this, all right? Just know it's here. This is an energy. This is a shield. It helps to shield. It helps to take off bad energy. It returns it back to sender. It's very powerful. And I just want your spirit man to know it's right here. All right? All right, number 39. 39 is a message about your divine life purpose. You are being fully supported by Jesus and the angels while you pursue spiritual interests and career choices. If you are considering beginning or expanding your spiritual practice, career, or profession, now is the time. Using your natural light working skills and living your life as a positive, positive example is important. Aspects of your soul mission. Call upon Jesus in the heavenlies for for help or guidance you are continued to live your personal truths as a spiritual being and remember your truths create your experiences so maintain a positive attitude and outlook let go of what no longer suits serves you or suits you in peace all right so any negative mindset all right so when it comes to fighting off demonic possession when it comes to all this this is not no fleshly war. This is a spiritual war. It is not a fleshly war. Alright? It is not. You cannot fight the spirit with the flesh. So when you're freaking out over these things that are going on, understand that you are in, a, you are in, you're learning. Meekness. Peace. Authority in the name of Jesus. In peace you must leave. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are not allowed to disturb this vessel anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number six. I don't know what you got going on. Whoever picked zero. But we got you. Keep a balance between material goals and aspirations. Along with your spiritual path. Respect yourself and others. By taking responsibility of your own life. Be honest and fair in all that you do. Be grateful for what you have. Practice being grateful and you will learn this leads to further abundance that you don't want to push away. Yes, that's possible. You can push it away. Be open to the angelic signs and signals, but don't drown in them. Trust all will be for provided for by the heavenly realm. Be a loving, caring, and nurturing of yourself and others. Trust yourself in the heavenly realm. Let's see. Yes, practice being grateful. You can lose. God can send you something, okay? And you can lose it. I've been down that road. You, you, we're not always ready, all right? And this is why you want to prepare and you want to work and you want to, you know, work as in the spiritual realm, all right? Work on your spirit, man. What, like I've told y'all a million times, do not own that depression is you, that mental disorder is you. It is not. That is not who you were created to be, child of God. Remember. All right, that's that is what the world has, in a sense, gifted you, and that's horrible to say because it, it yeah, it's it's given it to you, but the spirit has given you Jesus. All right, and you can defeat all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have control over the enemy in your life. I want you to realize that. So if you feel he is around. You need to get him gone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can do this. The Bible tells us. Why do you think people want the Bible gone? Number seven. Your angels are happy with your life choices. Keep up the good work for you are currently on the right path. Positive things will flow freely to you to help you along your journey. T suggests to look to furthering and developing your spirituality. Keep out of your comfort zone. You have a special soul mission which deals with communicating, teaching, and healing others while serving humanity in a manner that suits you best. You're encouraged 
to encourage others to seek their own passion and purpose in life. Spiritually based practice is encouraged of heart service if you so incline. You are a light worker. Alright? Light workers are just, we, we are the light, we carry the light in this world. The light is in us. That is why we are called light workers. We are workers of the cross. Don't get it twisted. All right, number zero. Wow. It's okay, my friend. Jesus loves you. And you know, I, I was just led to put the rock right there. Christ alone is our rock. Alright? But he helped. Man, I wish y'all could really see this. Rust stones, I believe, are the best. Because they're not tampered with. To a strong degree. Alright? It's the labyrinth. It helps you with grounding, with your spirit man awakening. It's a beautiful creation, isn't it? Like I said, when I received this, my legs started going tingly. And I ended up, uh, my throat ended up doing the thing. And I spit up a vial. I haven't done that in a long, I, I haven't done that. God's earth is a very special thing. And woe to anybody who tries to destroy it. That is God's call. Nobody else. Period. Ustefando's Gassino. Isherando Garando Isafando's Gassin. Ustefando's Gassino. In Christ alone does the power stand. But isn't it beautiful? I don't even know. Let me see. I really want. The colors, y'all. Have you seen like the Alaskan sky and stuff? Like, it's got hues of like tone that you can't really see it. But just take your time, you know, and just check it out. All right, so um, I love you. Remember, if you want your own angel cards, hit me up at Snapback Crew 316 because we are the Snapback Crew. We come back stronger than ever. The righteous may fall seven times, but he rises again, all right? And we come back stronger than ever, ever. That's why I don't know, you know, we ain't gonna give it no time. Hello, all right? But, um, but yeah, so let me see. Let me uh, see if we can get one to... If uh, angels will you let me uh, help me with one for to read to our tribe with one of them, maybe one. All right, number fifty-two. Angels are saying that important life changes may come about sooner than expected in unexpected ways and miraculous ways. Your angels want you to be open and receptive to your intuitive thoughts and take action as necessary. Trust yourself in the choices you have made, for they align you with your life purpose. The changes happening will be positive outcomes. Have faith and trust yourself All also on the inside. Go with the flow. All right. Sometimes we are taught not to trust ourselves at a very young age. There is a reason for that. We are taught to think that we are going crazy. There is a reason for that, all right? And, um, you know, I'm not everybody. Some people take medicine. I'm, I am I had a chronically ill little brother. I am not saying do not take medicine. That's the last thing Shay Shay would say to you, okay? But I am saying I believe me personally I believe, because I have personally experienced it, and experienced the healing of Christ, of uh, mental entrapment, of depression, of, I've been there, okay, suicide, 
depression, anxiety, um, social, like, freak out, you know what I mean? And, but I have come to a greater understanding that in Christ alone, all right, for me, all right? So, if you do these things, I'm not downing you, all right? Uh, this is, you're coming into a channel where, um, I speak what God has called me to speak. We can agree to disagree. We can have differences, but you don't attack me and I won't attack you. Okay. We also got to understand like when I might start feeling a certain way, it's important for me to like, if somebody says something to me, it's important for me to discern that. Is it the Holy Spirit tugging on me? trying to help communicate to me that, hey, um, they're actually right. Um, God's speaking through them to you. And yeah, so we need you to listen, you know. Don't think you know everything, all right? And we always need to be open to, um, we, we must find a way of openness, all right? A way of openness as we may be wrong. And it's not that we're wrong. It's that we're learning. And the person that gives you useful information is learning just as well. Every great leader needs a leader. All right? We don't stop learning. Never. Depends on which, which uh, even in hell you'll be learning, you know? Just keeping it real. I mean, you'll be learning. But, um, but yeah. All right? So, yeah. I just want you to know that I believe in you. Um, do your best to remain positive. What is ever going on in your life understand that there's a lot going on in the spiritual realm the devil is a trickster this is why it's important that you ground yourself if your mind is chaotic with thoughts with running now god will give us downloads all right we all have different spiritual gifts and everything but i am telling you right now and telling you right now that if you are spinning in your head and the thoughts are almost driving you crazy. God is not the author of confusion, my friend. He had to quiet my mind down too. Because uh, there was a gateway. I had to cut that gateway off. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This, there, it's not there no more. This is how I know. Alright? It is not of God. If your mind is chaotic and it's going crazy. Now God is just to pull you away from it. If you're seeking him. If you're seeking his truth, if you if you are sincerely seeking God, and I can never tell you that you are not, and I can never tell you that you are. I can tell you what uh, I believe that God is communicating to me about you, or, um, uh, you know, does that make sense? You know what I mean? Um, because I want you to know that we all have different walks in life, you know? Like, it's very well, I can't look at a drug, it's not right for me to necessarily look at a drug addict and say, God is not with you. That is a lie from the pits of hell. God is always with you. But God is calling you to make choices. I'm going to tell you right now that God is not. He does not tempt us to do evil. I have met a lot of drug addicts and I have been there, right? Where they're like, oh God, uh, you know, I was finding drugs. That's not God. God's not giving you drugs. The things that want to keep you caged in that cage is feeding you. Because they got to feed their animals. God is not feeding you all of that stuff. Alright? I love you. I believe in you. I'm proud of you. God is proud of you as well. And we're going to get through this. We are a team in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you.